Hello, I'm Alex Hohensark, Chair of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. I want to thank Kristen Cords and the National Poison Prevention Week Council for the invitation to address you and to recognize these talented young people and the good work they're doing to highlight poison prevention. I also want to express my appreciation for the work of America's Poison Centers, Safe Kids Worldwide, HRSA, and other stakeholders in helping to drive public awareness about poison hazards and the way families can stay safe. I'm also sorry that I can't be with you in person today, but I do want to take a moment to congratulate Demarcus Ganaway, Julianne Shali, William Jones, Isaiah Vieira, Colin Fowler, Julia Aldrich, Patty Larson, and Matthew Harvey for your creativity in developing these videos to communicate the important message about poison prevention in a way that I really think will resonate. I think you all have a great start on careers in advertising, filmmaking, or hopefully consumer protection. Your videos actually reminded me of time I needed to call poison control. My wife and I were at the movies and our babysitter called to say that she had given our two-year-old daughter the wrong dose of medicine. Luckily, when I called poison control, I was told that everything was going to be okay, and at worst, she'd be a little hyper. I've always been grateful for that resource to be able to call poison control when I was panicking. Now, as we kick off Poison Prevention Week, CPSC is also releasing a report on pediatric poisoning, and what it shows really highlights why poison prevention awareness is so important. We found that in 2021, there was a 37% increase in unintentional pediatric poisonings over the previous year. And nearly eight out of every 10 poisonings occurred in the home. The report also shows that prescriptions and over-the-counter medications, laundry packets, household cleaning supplies, and button cell batteries are the top hazards. These are items that can be found in every home, in every city, town, and state. So we're urging older siblings, parents, caregivers to always take that extra care to ensure that these items are kept out of the way of children's reach and sight. Please visit cpsc.gov for more information. There's no doubt that child poisonings have gone down dramatically since Poison Prevention Packaging Act was enacted in the early 1970s. But too many children are still at risk of poisoning and everyday products still pose a significant risk to children. There's still more work to be done to protect children. And that's why the work of these young winners is so important. I hope you keep the creativity going and that you'll consider using your talents for a career in public service. We will need your energy and creativity to help raise awareness and keep us all safe from product hazards in the future. And also to get the word out, I plan to retweet the winning videos when they're available so the public will see your impressive work and hear your message. So thanks again to the National Poison Prevention Week Council and other stakeholders for your commitment. We look forward to your continued collaboration. Thank you.